So as the Terra Luna saga continues to unwind, unveil, evolve, whatever <laughs> metaphor you want to use for that, um, it's getting interesting. So by the way, you can tell I'm not at my house, uh, my studio here in Dallas. Uh, my son continues to play in this lacrosse tournament. Uh, it was Saturday and today. So uh, that's why you see me recording from my truck. But that's the beauty of technology these days. Here we go. So uh, I've talked about this in previous video. But Do Kwan reveals Tara's office closing was coincidental and says the company owes no tax. Now, what this is, is, is that about three or four days, give or take, uh, Do Kwan, who is the head of Terra Luna, was in the process of basically shutting down um, his operation in South Korea. And he was moving it to Singapore. Okay, And also there was another piece of information that came out that said that uh, Do Kwan owed uh, the South Korean government about $78.5 million in taxes. So that's what this is. So what do you guys think? Drop in the comments below. I want to hear from you. Do you think that this was coincidental that, um, that's a good word, coincidental, uh, that he was closing down the South Korean office uh, operation and moving it to Singapore uh, two or three days before all this transpired? Um, I my opinion is I don't really have an opinion on this. I, it could have been coincidental. I think that the, I think that the, 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 what happened with Terra Luna was market manipulation. I think there was some, definitely some stuff going on. Don't know who we don't know who nobody knows. That's the thing, right? Uh, we're supposed to find out all of the kind of backstory and all this kind of stuff, but you know, when is that going to happen? Uh, we don't really know. So, yeah, so that's what's going on here. It's interesting that this continues to to kind of evolve right here. This was uh, yesterday. Do Kwan says the dissolving of Terraform Labs in Korea days before the Loon and USD crash is purely coincidental. By the way, shout out to Watcher Guru. Those guys are crushing it on uh, their Twitter feed as well as great content. So uh, use them a lot for my videos because they have some really good stuff to give us talking points and for you and I to have this dialogue. So, yeah, let me. this is probably, you know... You know, there you go. Um, also here, this is what we're talking about. Terraform Lab CEO in another tweet denied that his firm had any tax obligation to the Korean government. OK, so right here, this was somebody saying, hey, are you aren't you being pursued for seventy eight million dollars in unpaid business taxes? And he said, quote right here, Do Kwan, we have no outstanding tax liabilities in Korea. The NTS did conduct a tax audit across all the major crypto companies with presence in Korea and applied Korean tax code to foreign and other companies. And every company ended up paying as a result. We paid in full, not unique to us. OK, so, um, you know, again, evolving situation. Right. Uh, he said she said one side, the other, um, you know, basically said this like was several reports that they, they owed 78 million. It's a lot of moving parts to this thing. OK, so again, what are your thoughts? If you haven't already dropped in the comments below, let me hear from you. But we'll see how this all plays out. Um, few final thoughts if you haven't already done so hit that subscribe button become part of the community We'd love to have you stick around uh, i make content every single day to help to help um you guys navigate crypto a little bit better and just be more and better informed hit that subscribe button below and uh we will see you later have a good one take care